Well, tomorrow morning, Kea'au Beach Park will be closed, and for the next three weeks, city crews will repair and clean the park grounds and the facilities. But the closure has forced nearly 200 homeless campers to move on. KITV4's Paul Drews is here with details on where they're going. Paul. Well, KL Beach Park is nearly at the end of Farrington Highway. And this is the last city park along the Waianae Coast to be cleared out and closed. For many homeless, it's now the end of the road for a public place to camp. KL Beach Park is now littered with piles of trash and leftover tents and campsites, remnants of the hundreds of homeless who used to live here. On the final day before the city closes the park, most have moved out. Some have places to go, but not Steve Hedenberg. I'm not going nowhere. I don't have no place to go. Let's put a go to jail. I, I'm, I've thought this through, you know. I don't know what to do. I can't go to the bush. It's too far. Many of the campers have already gone to the bush, which is just past the park, joining the hundreds of other homeless campers already here. But for this disabled veteran, the bush is out of reach, and so is help in a shelter. Because some days I can't walk, and the bathroom's far enough now, and it's already way too far to carry my groceries in. And um, there's too many rules in the shelter. But for Richard Titsworth, who used to live at Ka'au until last week, the hope for a new beginning shelter in Kapolei is now his home. It's a big change for those like Richard, who have lived without rules for so long, but it's a first step toward a more positive life. The important step was just getting here. Taking, taking up the opportunity, accepting the, the offer. Living here comes with some requirements, like setting up a service plan to get his mental, physical, and financial health in order. Those rules keep many homeless from seeking shelter, but for his fellow Ka'al campers, Richard offers up this encouragement. Lay down the fears and uh, take advantage of the opportunity. I gotta admit, you know, I had my reservations, um, but I got here, and since I've got here, I've had no regrets. Now, according to the city, there are plenty of shelter spaces for all the homeless KL Beach Park campers. At the Hope for a New Beginning Shelter, there's room for a dozen more families, while across Oahu, there are over 200 other vacancies at shelters. Paula?